Good evening and welcome to this week's devotional. Now you want to admit it, you've got to admit it, that you just love it when you sit down and have somebody complain to you. Or you get a phone call and somebody just goes on and on and on about how bad things are. Don't you just love it? It's like music. It's like, it's like a beautiful symphony. No? You don't like complaining? Hmm. Why is that? Why don't you like complaining? Because you want something uplifting. You want, you want uh, somebody to call or visit and, and uplift you and, and bless you. And, and you love being near people that are, uh, they don't have to be super exciting or, or bubbly, effervescent extroverts. There are a few of those around. You know who they are. It doesn't take that. It doesn't take much not to be, uh, can I use the word curmudgeon? I can. I love that word curmudgeon. I have a friend that says he's a curmudgeon and that he spent his whole life developing his attitude to be a curmudgeon. There you go. A curmudgeon is a, uh, is a person. I looked it up and uh, it's a bad-tempered person, especially an old one. Hmm. And he's older than I am, so that means he's an old one. Well, we're looking at Philippians 2, 14 and 15. I'm going to read that for you. Do all things without grumbling or disputing, so that you will prove yourselves to be blameless and innocent, children of God, above reproach in the midst of a crooked and perverse generation among whom, listen, you appear as lights. Let's pray. Father, we know that Jesus is the light of the world and that we are Christ-like. We're to be Christ-like. And Father, teach us this. Teach us that we would understand it, that it would be in us and that uh, be part of us, that we would grasp this. May your Holy Spirit teach us now. We ask for him. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, he says blameless, and are you blameless? Am I blameless? No, no, we've, no one is righteous. No, not one. All have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, and we understand that, and we needed a Savior. There is a Savior. Praise the Lord for Jesus, and uh, in ourselves, we are not blameless, um, but because of Jesus and his blood, we are cleansed, we are renewed, we are giving a new life, um, and there is therefore now no condemnation. The righteousness of Jesus is ours, and so we have a great advocate. We have the Holy Spirit who leads us to live a life that is blameless, and so here he's encouraging us to be blameless, to be innocent. That is so that no one is finding fault in you. Uh, pure, if you will. Um, harmless. Those are characteristics of uh, somebody that is sanctified, if you will. That is holy. That Somebody that is set apart unto God. And it's Christ who is living in them. And so that is the encouragement that we be blameless and innocent. Now, he says that we're surrounded by uh, a crooked and perverse generation. Uh, it's the weight of that is all around us. Um, in Congress, Congress, there are sexual allegations in just recent years. Uh, Wiener, Hill, Mahoney, San Nicholas, Biden, Conyers, Trump. Franklin, Filner, and uh, so many more uh, that have been accused of sexual allegations. Notice I used both Republican and Democrat in there. Um, in ethics violations, bribery, corruption, uh, campaign fraud. Wait, I haven't even talked about the NFL, who has murderers, rapists, assault, and, 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 and I haven't even talked about our neighbors. Here in Bangor, we have 82 sexual offenders on the list. We are surrounded by a crooked and perverse generation. It's here. 
And the, 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 this is not to be a long sermon. This is to be a short devotional. So let me skip right over. And he says where to appear as light. Now, I love this light. A city on the hill can't be hidden. You don't put a, 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 a light under a basket. And, and Jesus, it says in one, John 1, 4, in him was life, life. And that life was the light of men. Men who lived in darkness, they were transferred from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light. And when it says in 1 John 1, 7, but if we walk in the light as he himself is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. Listen, and the blood of Jesus, his son, cleanses us from all sin. There you go. So the purity, the blamelessness, and, and all of that holiness and sanctification is ours because of the blood of Jesus, because the life that was in him is the light that is in us. And when we go out as new creatures in Christ, we become a bright light in amongst a crooked and perverse generation. This is what we have to offer the world as believers. And so the takeaway here is don't be a curmudgeon. Don't grow up to be a curmudgeon. Jesus isn't a curmudgeon, and we're not to be curmudgeons. That just has a, that just sounds, curmudgeon is just one of those fun words to say. Don't grumble, don't complain. Don't be a curmudgeon. Live in purity, live without fault. And lastly, be light. Be the living and breathing manifestation of Jesus Christ. It's in you to be had. You ask for the Holy Spirit. You ask him to cleanse you up. You ask him for help. Ask him to teach you to read the word as you're reading the word. And we should be reading the word multiple times a day. It's just it, the word of God is living and breathing. And you just, you want that in you. It, it's cleansing. It's, it's uplifting. This is your devotional for the week. Be light. Don't be a curmudgeon. God bless you. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you that Jesus Christ is alive and that we can walk in him, in his light, and that his light can shine to others. Lord, may we be that light. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Have a great week.